Okay, good day, good people, happy people, and speedy for anywhere. Welcome back to my channel, Trans. I'm again currently my title is about best quote from the Prophet Muhammad. He said that when you are confident and satisfied with who Allah made you to be, the opinions of others are just a bonus. So the Kambi title is embracing self-contentment in Islam. Confident in who Allah made you to be. So please stay tuned with me. You will get inspirations, lesson, and motivation facing life adversities. By the way, in a world that often emphasizes external validations and the opinions of others, Islam offers a refreshing perspective on self-worth and confidence. So the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, encourage believers to find contentment and confidence in their identity as creations of Allah. Rather than seeking approval from others, one of the profound lessons we can draw from the Prophet's teaching is the importance of being confident and satisfied with who Allah has made us to be understanding that the opinions of others are merely a bonus and not the foundation of our self-worth. So let's see the concept of self-worth in Islam. Yeah? So in Islam it teaches that every human being is created with inherent dignity and worth. Allah says in the Quran, and we have certainly honored the children of Adam based on Surah Al Isra, verse 70. This verse has highlights the honor and dignity bestowed upon every human being by Allah. Our word is not dependent on the opinions of others, but is rooted in the fact that we are created by Allah with a unique purpose. This understanding is fundamental to developing a strong sense of self war and deep and confidence. Okay. So, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized this inherent value in his interaction with others. He treated everyone with respect, uh, with respect and dignity. Okay, so regardless of their social status, race, or gender, his teaching and actions remind us that our value is intrinsic and not something that can be diminished by the judgment or opinions of others. So, what is that uh, the meaning of confidence in who Allah made you to be? You want to know, please stay tuned with me. You will get lessons, inspiration, mo and motivation facing life turbulence. So, confidence in Islam is closely tied to the concept of tawakul or reliance on Allah. When we recognize that Allah is the ultimate creator and that he has fashioned us with wisdom and purpose, we can find confidence in our identity. So this confidence is not arrogance but a deep-seated trust in Allah's plan for us. Based on Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, said the strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer. While there is good in both, strive for that which will benefit you, seek the help of Allah, and do not be helpless. Based on Sahih Muslim Hadith. This Hadith encourages believers to strive for strength and self-improvement while relying on Allah, and it highlights the importance of being proactive and confident in our abilities knowing that Allah has equipped us with necessary tools to navigate life's challenges. So the confidence here stems from a recognition that our abilities and circumstances are part of Allah's divine plan. So what does it mean finding satisfaction in Allah's design? We want to know, please stay tuned with me, you will get lesson inspiration and motivation facing life turbulence so satisfaction with who Allah has made us to be is a form of contentment or leader yeah 
which is highly valued in Islam. This satisfaction involves accepting our physical appearance, personality, talents, and even our challenges as a part of Allah's wisdom. Based on Prophet Muhammad, this Babanu said, Look at those who are lower than you in worldly things, but do not look at those who are higher than you, lest you belittle the far force Allah confer upon you based on Sahih Muslim. This hadith teaches us to focus on the blessing we have been given rather than we yeah, I mean this hadith teaches us to focus on the blessing we have been given rather than what we like. It encourages a mindset of gratitude and contentment with what Allah has decreed for us. And by appreciating who we are and what we have, we cultivate a sense of satisfaction that shields us from the negative impact of others' opinion. So, what does it mean, the opinions of others, as a bonus, not a necessity? Because what is natural to seek validation and approval from others, Islam teaches that opinions of others should not dictate of our self-worth or confidence because the Prophet Muhammad Ismail himself faced criticism, opposition, and mockery from those who didn't believe in his message, yet he remained steadfast, confident in his mission and identity as a messenger of Allah. Allah says in the Quran, so be patient over what they say and exalt Allah with praise of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting, based on Surah Al-Kaf, verse 39. So this first a reminder to remain patient and focus on our relationship with Allah, regardless of what others may say or think. So when we are confident in who Allah has made us to be, the opinions of others become secondary, they are merely a bonus. A validation that is nice to have but not necessary for our sense of self-worth. So what are practical steps to cultivate confidence and contentment? The first one is for strengthening your relationship with Allah. Because confidence and contentment come from a deep relationship with Allah. And by regular prayer, supplication and reflection on his names and attributes can help reinforce your trust in his plan for you. And second practical step to cultivate confidence and contentment by practicing gratitude. Yeah, you can focus on the blessings that Allah has given you, both big and small, and gratitude shift your perspective from what you like to what you have. Fostering contentment and the third one practical step to develop confidence and contentment by seek knowledge and by understanding Islamic teachings about self-worth, contentment uh, and reliance on Allah can strengthen your confidence. Knowledge of the Quran and Hadith provides a solid foundation for self-acceptance. And the fourth one, you have to, sur you have to surround yourself with positive influences, example by while the opinions of others should not define you. Surrounding yourself with positive, supportive individuals can reinforce your confidence, choose companions to remind you of your word and encourage your growth. And the next one you can by changing in self-improvement, striving to improve yourself in various aspects, spiritually, mentally, and physically, can boost your confidence, recognize that self-improvement is part of being strong believer. And the next one, you have to avoid comparison because comparison is often the thief of joy. Remember that Allah has created everyone with unique qualities and challenges. So focus on your own journey. That trust Allah is, uh, Allah, and trust Allah plan uh, for you is perfect. And the last one, you have to reflect on your purpose. By regularly remind yourself of your purpose as a servant of Allah, so this purpose gives you life meaning and direction, helping you stay focused on what truly matters. Finally, let's embrace Allah's design with confidence.
Because in Islam, true confidence and contentment come from recognizing and embracing who Allah has made us to be. And when we are satisfied with His design and trust in His wisdom, the opinion of others lose their powers to influence our self work. So the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, encourages us to cultivate the, this confidence through reliance on Allah, gratitude and focus on self-improvement. And by embracing our identity as creation of Allah, we can navigate life with a sense of purpose and inner peace. So the opinions of others become a bonus appreciated but not necessary because our confidence is rooted in something far more enduring our relationship with Allah and this mindset not only empowers us to live authentically but also bring us closer to fulfilling the true purpose of our existence. So smart people, good people, happy people and believers help you uh, 